gone out and played with my husband's new toy yes very nice it is a very nice ride um interior is lovely um i i enjoyed it i think i'm going to enjoy the car i must admit well, not me personally because i can't drive but uh we will see i may start learning to drive again oh yes you heard correctly yes get off the roads again i might be learning to drive again so um yeah shall i do that again <laughs> no i might be learning to drive again so when i do learn to drive and if i pass my test or should i say no when i pass my test um i'll get a little car and i'll show you around my little car because my husband is very private and very protective of his cars. Anyway, we went to King's Lynn. Um, I'd done some shopping and I found some more vegan and vegetarian and non-alcoholic drinks. It's only a little mini one this time, but I'll show you what I got. Right, guys. So I have tried Linda McCartney's before, but I haven't tried this one. And I found some corn vegan fish cakes. Uh, fish cakes, fish fingers and um the non-alcoholic Koppenberg now I have tried this non-alcoholic Koppenberg I prefer it to the actual alcoholic one I have tried the alcoholic one I don't like the alcoholic one I prefer the um the non-alcoholic one so yeah and then I don't usually like corn but I saw these and I saw they were vegan and I thought, do you know what? One day I'll have some corn fish fingers and maybe some baked beans or something like that and my little crispy potato things and I'll try them. Because, um, yeah, I think... I'm not keen on corn, but I know I can put some spin on it with some herbs and spices and stuff. But I'll, I'll try them and see how they go. And then I got um, the pulled pork quarter pounder burger from Linda McCartney. Now, last time I tried the mozzarella one and that was absolutely delicious. I've got the mozzarella one again, but I thought I'd try the pulled pork and yeah, the pulled pork vegetarian quarter pounder burger. So there we are, guys. That is my little shopping haul. I did get other bits and pieces, but they were like fish and cheese and meat and stuff like that. So, um, again, if there's any vegans out there, I do not mean to offend anyone. Um, like I said in my last um, video, um, I can see myself becoming vegetarian don't know about vegan but again i'll never say never so we'll watch this space and see what we can do all right see you guys hi guys i've now opened the koppenberg non-alcoholic now to me that looks like a nice little wine and if you put it in a glass no one will know that you're actually drinking a non-alcoholic drink. So if you, um, let me just pop this down. If you want to go out somewhere and you don't want to drink alcohol, but you want to look like you're drinking alcohol, um, look, try and look for the non-alcoholic brands and just say to the barman or bar lady um, what non-alcoholic beverages have you got um, as in 
have you got any sort of like non-alcoholic Koppenberg, non-alcoholic um, Bex Blue or something like that, put it in a glass so then when people say, oh, what are you drinking? You can turn around and go, oh, no, 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 that's okay. I'll go, I'll go up and get them. So if you did want to drink alcohol but not drink too much alcohol and you're not driving the night before, or you know, not driving the night before, and you're not driving, um, you can always turn around and when you go buy yourself a drink, buy yourself the non-alcoholic version. So then, while everybody else is getting drunk around you, and I know it's not nice when you've got drunk people around you and you're not drunk, you can quit, make a quick exit you don't want to stay however it's always up to you at the end of the day what you want to do your diet is your diet nobody is to judge so but there you are that is my trick if you want to go out for the night and you don't want to um get too drunk Buy yourself a non-alcoholic drink. Hi guys, it's about just gone about half past six in the morning. Um, I was going to go out with Happy today, but um, so something's happened, so I can't. He's got to go and do something. Um, I tried to go out for a five k today. Uh, I am on my period. Um, I had crippling stomach pains again, so I had to stop again. Um, I don't think, and excuse the potty talk, I don't think it's running clots. Um, I think it purely is my period playing up. Um, however, uh, tomorrow I ain't going to do um, any jogging, I'm going to rest up. I'll see how it goes tomorrow. Wednesday, I would like to try and do a 10K, but again, I'll have to see how it goes. Um, I'm just really disappointed now in my runs again. I mean, I've only had one good run in the last couple of weeks, and I've only got seven weeks to go until my actual um, gear run. So I'm starting to panic a bit now. Um, so I'm kind of hope I have got a holiday at the end of March, so hopefully I can pick up um, a bit more then. So uh, yeah. So I'm just I don't know what to do. Help me, people! I don't know what to do. So I'm going to walk home now, have some breakfast, and get on with a really early day off guys right guys well i know the reason why i couldn't run today um i had my pain come in and it was quite a bad one um today it um actually did floor me um i'm now starting to feel a bit better um hubby was off doing work related things left me at home so um and when he came home to cheer me up, he got me, oh yes, I must have. This is one of my favourite, and I mean favourite, chocolate bars ever. Ever. You get me one of these, you're golden. I love fries, peppermint creams. I don't like the chocolate ones, it's got to be the peppermint gotta be the peppermint so um yeah going back to i had my painful period today um it floored me i had a bath that worked for a little while and then um, i went into bed because it completely wiped me out and i slept for about two or three hours um then when hubby got home like you said like i said and then um, he also took me out 
because I was planning on getting a GoPro soon and tonight was the night so um, I will do an unboxing tomorrow because it's getting on now so um, but I got the GoPro Hero 7 Black so I'll unbox that tomorrow and uh, I'll see how I get on with it and then I got the little tripod tripod thingy I think that's kind of like a three in one and a selfie stick kind of thingy that goes so I'm going to try that too and uh, we'll see how we get on with that also in the week I've got a um, an old colleague who I'm going to be meeting up on Sunday at an event I won't be able to film the event but I've got an event I'm going to and my one of my old colleagues is going to be there and she's sending me some samples for me to try out and uh, see if you guys would like some. So, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to go off. I'm going to eat my chocolate. But anyone who knows me knows this is one of my favourite chocolate bars ever. And I'm always going. I'm going to polish off that, have a cup of tea, sit with the husband. And tomorrow night, me and the husband might be watching uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I've been dying to watch that all the time since it's been out. And then my husband's got the um, the code so we can watch that tomorrow night. So, uh, yeah, I've been dying to watch that because that's one film I really, really want to watch. So. I shall say good night to you on a Monday night, and uh, probably see you in the morning. Right, guys, I've been experimenting with my cooking, and this is what I've um, just come up with. Um, in here is lentils, rice, black beans, onions, and Linda McCartney's um, sausages with Lloyd Grossman's tomato sauce. Um, so, and I've put salt garlic, um, turmeric and ginger in there as well. So I'm going to try and taste test this. I've made three batches. This batch, I've got batch for work tomorrow and a batch for work the next day. So it looks like I'm going to have this for about three days. So um, this was my concoction. I'm going to taste test it. I hope I like it because I've got it for work tomorrow. Um, so I'll just pop you on my little stand and then I will taste test. Right guys, there we go. We've got a bit of lentils, we've got a bit of rice there, we've got black bean, we've got a sausage bit. You ready guys? Mm. It's okay. It's not one of my best triumphs. It's edible. Yeah, I can eat this. It's not my best, but I can eat it. Um, could do them with more flavours in it. Um, however, we live and learn. We live and learn. But I can eat that, but maybe when it, because I mean, I've got, um, I've got this for tomorrow and the next day. So I may turn around and say it would taste better tomorrow because it's been marinating. But this, I can eat this. It's okay. I just wish there was a little bit more flavour in it. That's all. So, I'm going to eat this now. Um, I haven't watched Bohemian Rhapsody yet, so I'm thinking about watching that tonight. Unfortunately, Hubby's not going to be with me tonight. He's just got the car tested and he'll be working. So, um, it'll just be me watching it tonight on my lonesome. Never mind, these things happen. Alright guys, I'm going to eat this and get going. Alright. Alright guys, this is my snack of the night. It's um, Rivita Bars 
with um, Waitrose um, salted caramel and Waitrose dark chocolate spreads. Um, we got the Waitrose spreads and that at Christmas and we, they've been sealed. They haven't been opened. So I opened them today and I'm now going to try this. And this is going to be my snack while watching um, Bohemian Rhapsody tonight. Unfortunately, I didn't get to watch it, like I said at the time. I didn't get to watch it, and hubby's working tonight, and I have asked if I can watch it. So um, I'm going to eat this and drink my cup of tea while watching Bohemian Rhapsody tonight. All right, guys, I've just watched Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh my god, what a film. I must admit, what a bloody film. Um, I, as you can probably see, I've got a little bit emotional uh, towards the end of the film. Um, but can I just say, Freddie Mercury and the members of Queen, what a fucking you all are. And... I'm sure Freddie's watching down on us and he's still thinking Queen has still got it. They've still got it. From today, I mean, when they did the uh, Live Aid, yeah, I was four years old. I was four years old watching that. And I know it's actors and that, but watching that moved me. And yeah. He up there, plus the Queen band members, legends. And we will still be playing their music way into the future. I bloody love Queen. Mm -hmm.